Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Burping Review. So today I'm actually doing a tag video, and this tag is the Show Me Your Spritz tag, and it was started by Moody Boo Reviews, um, and I was personally tagged by Kristen over at Beauty Meow. Um, thank you very much to her for her tagging me in this and even thinking of me. And this is a really, really fun tag, so I'm going to tag some people in at the very end of this. And it's an interesting little tag, and I love the categories. I think the categories are super fun. And I'm just going to kind of show you guys what I have for this. So, category number one is called Unicorns Are Real. And this is the perfume I had to chase the longest to acquire. And believe it or not, it is actually, it took me some thought. But I had to go with the Believe. And why Believe is because this is actually the 3.5. Uh, three ounce and it's the one in the original formula so the box does open up a little bit different and then it does still have the silver top um as a collector i really wanted the uh, original formulation and the original box um and it was very very hard to acquire this and it took me a very very long time to find this um it sounds simple enough but through pictures online and stuff it's really hard to find something in the original box and in the original formula and have it be real and authentic. So that was Unicorns Are Real. Next category is House of the Rising Scent. And this is a new perfume house that you're just discovering and loving. So this one is kind of like I couldn't really think of anything that was like something I've recently discovered. But this is like one that I've kind of discovered and then rediscovered recently ish um and i think just their entire house is completely underrated and i've said that from the original fragrance when i first uh i don't think i reviewed this but when i first started talking about this on my channel i did say that um i felt like this was it was extremely underrated and all of the fragrances that have been released in this house are very different from a lot of things that are out on the market and they're very um risk like they take risks and i'm talking about the christian siriano line so um they did do just the original silhouette and then i don't know if he got to a new house or what happened but just recently they started coming out with new ones and i have um silhouette and bloom and people are people and i know there's a couple more so there's intimate silhouette and Midnight Silhouette, and Midnight Silhouette comes in this bottle, and it's completely covered in glitter, and then Intimate is in this bottle with purple. Um, they're all very, very different fragrances, and this is a really, really underrated house that I don't think a lot of people talk about. So, House of the Rising Scent is Christian Siriano. Next one, ooh, excuse me, got hair, is Heart the Hype, and this is a fragrance that I agree with the hype about... Um, that a lot of people talk about and agree with. And I'm going to have two for this. So first one I'm going to talk about is obviously Ariana Grande's Cloud. This is so over talked about that it's kind of annoying at this point. But it is for good reason. This is a really, really, really good fragrance. Um, and definitely worth the hype. It is, it smells like a dryer and it's slightly sweet. But to me it smells like a hoodie fresh out of the dryer. It's got that kind of vanilla in this in it. Um... There's a little bit of coconut in there, but it's not super, super prominent. I'm not a big coconut fan, so this is coconut done well. Um, and it does smell like Baccarat Rouge 540 and some of the other dupes out there for it, um, which is a very popular DNA right now. So there's that one. And then the other one I wanted to bring up was um, A Doll by Lancome. So this is a rosy scent, which I'm not... Again, I'm not super big into roses, and you guys know that. Um, but there's something about this one that's just amazing. Um, it's a very millennial rose, in my opinion. Um, it's the world's thinnest bottle. It's super thin. Um, and I read somewhere from the guy who like designed the bottle for this that he never meant for it to stand up. Um, even though I have a stand for it, it was like never meant to stand up. It's supposed to be like a smartphone and lay flat. Um, but yeah, this is a very nice rose scent, and... I've heard a lot of people say that when they first smelled this, it was like immediate, like, they had to buy it. Um, and that's how I was as well. The first scent of this, I had to have it if I have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but it's definitely worth it. I understand why this is so hyped up. It is a really well done rose scent. And for someone who doesn't like rose scents, that's saying a lot. The next one is, um... Renounce the Ounce, and this is a fragrance that I don't agree with the hype about, and I'm probably going to get a lot of shit for this, but 
is what it is, and it is Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. So this is a thousand percent the only reason this fragrance is hyped up is because of the bottle. I strongly believe that if this was released by someone else and was in a different bottle or just a plain bottle, it would just be looked over and um, especially for this house, this was kind of like it exploded for them. Um, Carolina Herrera has really done well with like the 212 sexy line, um, but her line really didn't like take off like I don't feel like it was as prominent and as forefront in the fragrance um, culture as it was with Good Girl. This literally turned so many like this fragrance is so overdone and it's nothing like the fragrance itself is nothing special. Now the bottle as a bottle collector I would like to get this eventually just because it is a really nice bottle um, but oh, percent wise it's really not that great of a scent and because it is so hyped up, it is very hard to get this at a discount, and I don't want to pay the prices that people ask for this, even now with it being out as long as it has. Um, the next one is Love is Blind Buying, and this is, whether recent or overall, a favorite blind buy. And this is Police New York Woman, or Pure Police New York Woman. This is Cotton Candy and Green Apples. I bought this off of eBay for stupid cheap, just based off of notes, um, off of a fragrance guy I looked at it and I was like, that might be something I might like. I spent under $20 on this, and it is one of my all-time favorite blind buys. This is such a good scent, and not very many people know about it, not very many people talk about it, so it's not scent that a lot of people are going to smell and be like, oh, what are you wearing? Oh, I know what you're wearing. Like, this is not going to be a flower bomb or Olivia Bell or anything like that. I'm trying to keep my phone on so it doesn't, like, get rid of my picture is terrible um and but this is a such a good good scent i really like this again apple and cotton candy it's and it's not burnt like pink sugar it's a really really well done and really well mixed next one is crystal baller what is my future anticipating your delivery i don't have anything coming on its way right now but i'm definitely um i need to buy and finish off the secure line for what she's recently released um like, I'm missing quite a few of them, and I definitely need to get those. But it's definitely something that I, like, have been wanting to get. And then also one that's kind of, like, a dual category with, like, Unicorns Are Real and Love Is Blind Buying, or not Love Is Blind Buying, but Crystal Baller, is um, something I've been searching for freaking ever is Little Mix's Wishmaker Party Edition. Um, I cannot get my hands on a full-size bottle of that. That is probably, like, the one I've been searching for for the longest. Um, and definitely something I would like to get my hands on. So, that's, like, my crystal ball and, um, unicorns are real. Next one is, I take it rare, and this is a perfume that is rare that may not many people have in their collections or may not know about. Um, and I have a couple of them, so I wanted to just grab a couple. So one that not many people really have or know about is Adidas. This is the Adidas Jeremy Scott collection. Um, this stinks. It smells like a musty basement. I really have never smelled, like, I've never sprayed this more than a couple times. It just doesn't smell very good. And there's not very many of these out on the market. And I got this for stupid cheap off of FragranceNet. And not very many people have this, so... It's kind of fun, and they are numbered, like this is 4350 out of however many there was, but yeah. Um, another one that I have is the Kim Kardashian Love Perfume. This is 872 of a thousand. Um, this smells like gardenia and um, lemon or like citrusy. It's a really, really nice fragrance. Um, but this is definitely something hard to get your hands on. Not a lot of people have. Obviously, there's only a thousand bottles. Um, another one is my Rihanna Nude 777 Diamonds Limited Edition. This is 331 out of 777 of them. And then, um, two of them are, two more are Brazilian ones. And this is, oh, there's cat hair. Um... For You by One Direction, this was an Avon perfume released to Brazil. And then the Brazilian runner exclusive of Fantasy Eau de Toilette. This is probably the one fragrance that I've had in my collection. I've had a lot of people ask me to buy. I will never sell this thing. Um, it was very, very hard to get my hands on. And even now, it's still hard to get your hands on. Um, 
and my phone locked. I'm sorry. Modern technology is supposed to help you, and this face recognition does not work. Um, I'm stuck on Band-Aid. If I could create a fragrance for anybody, who would it be? And this one took some thought, so I think right now, if I had to create a fragrance for a celebrity, it would be Halsey. Um, the fragrance would be called 929. If you're a Halsey fan, then you understand that reference. Um, and the top three notes of it would be, like, vanilla, bourbon, and, like, an ashtray. Like, kind of like that incense but, like, cigarette ashtray, just because she's kind of a bad bitch. And I don't feel like her fragrance would be sweet and cotton candy, but it wouldn't be super masculine either, hence to the vanilla that would be in there. Um, and then Brain Farts Stink 2 is the last one in this. And this is the most expensive perfume you purchase you regret. Um, so this is kind of like a twofer. So one is Alien, or not, oh my god, Alien, not Alien. Aura by Terry Mugler. This is, I bought this when it first came out, so I dropped a pretty penny on it. And I shouldn't have because I could have got it for much cheaper and it stinks. Um, I've honestly never really worn this. Um, I bought it 100% because of the ad when it first came out because the bottle was gorgeous and the ad was gorgeous and it made me want it. And um, regardless that it stunk, I mean it doesn't stink, but it's just not something I would wear. It's definitely a unique and kind of avant-garde fragrance, um, but definitely something I regret because I could have got for much cheaper. And the other one is Rio Glow from Brazil. So I have like mine, it, if the camera will focus, hello, focus on the box, not on me. So mine does have like differences in it from the ones that were here, but not too long after I got this um, from Rio because it was supposed to be like a Rio de Janeiro exclusive. Um, it started popping up for like 14 bucks at TJ Maxx, and that kind of annoyed me because that's not how much I spent to get it from Rio de Janeiro. So, it happens, it is what it is, but regardless, I guess it's nice that mine is in a different language still. Um, so it does, there's still a little bit of a difference from the one that you could have got at, um, TJ Maxx. So, there is my, um... Tag. I couldn't think of that word for a second. There's my entry into this tag. And I also want to tag two people into this as well. I want to tag Bella on the Perfume Don and Rhonda Larice here on YouTube. And I'm going to tag a third one. I'm also going to tag Sarah. Um, Sarah Jane, I believe is her last name. I don't want to, if I butchered that, I'm sorry. But you know who you are, Sarah. I want to tag you guys. And just because I think you guys would have really interesting aspects to this tag and I would love to see your guys' answer. So thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume and Instagram Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.